For a lot of reasons, these days we're talking a lot about gender, about sexual assault, about sexism, and about gender roles. In the midst of this national conversation, the White Ribbon Campaign held their third conference called What Makes a Man. This was a conference to discuss masculinity and new possibilities for manhood. The keynote speaker for this conference is actor, author, and former NFL player Terry Crews, who is best known for his work in film, television, and a series of commercials for the brand Old Spice. This new Old Spice shaver is so amazing it'll shave off every hair on your face! Oh no! I'm a hair! Oh no! Earlier this year, Cruz wrote a book called Manhood, How to Be a Better Man or Live with One. I spoke with him about feminism, masculinity, and what makes a man in 2014. I'm optimistic about the state of manhood. Um, I don't want people to get the wrong idea. Uh, you know, I know that the media and there's a lot of bad things going around like, oh, this guy, this guy. But I think now, it, it, you're talking about, it's a fork in the road. It gives guys a chance to say, wait a minute. Right. Let's redirect, okay? Because this ain't good. And I think it's, I'm very, very optimistic because now when you're talking about young men uh, coming up and seeing this, uh, you know, and wondering what's going on and looking at, you know, the results, they can make a choice. Whereas before, it was only one way to be. Right. You know, people were like, you don't, you, if, to be a man, you must do this, and you, and you must hide all your feelings. And it was pretty much the way it was. Uh, and now we, we have men talking about this stuff. It's good. So you've written this book, Manhood. What inspired you to write it? You know, I would go places with my wife and people would go, he's so amazing. Terry Crews, oh, yeah. and then they look at my wife and say, he, you must just love living with him. And she would go, <laughs> and there'd be that little, just that little hesitator, like, uh, right. and I was like, okay, I got to bust this bubble. Right. This bubble is getting too big because you're on TV, you're, you're doing movies, you do all this stuff, and you got to just go, all right, because I know what really went down. Right. And I know that it ain't all roses or wine, you right. know. Uh, this was a fight, and I just had to tell the story, and you know, and it's my story. Um, I don't, I don't tell. One big thing I learned is to not tell anybody else's story. You know, right. I can't speak for women. I can't speak for anybody else, uh, any other man other than me, and my take on what this is, and hopefully, all the stuff I've been through will inspire someone and there's a few people some people go ah, not for me but there's somebody out there that says wow wow we i can relate to this right. and it turns out there's a lot of people who's responded very very well right now you've been everywhere right like you've been radio television film and now you're talking about this bringing a lot of high profile to the stuff that you're talking about but you're also bringing a high profile to the word feminist you've used it in a few interviews before so can you, a lot of people have this like weird relationship to the word feminist. They're like, well, I can't, I don't think I can be a feminist. I don't really want to identify with that word, it's too strong. Why do you think it's important for you to be a feminist? Wow, you know, I think the big thing about uh, feminism is that it scares men. Because, you know, you know, the big deal is that people are scared of being controlled. People are scared of you know, someone's over me. And, you know, I want to be clear that feminism is not saying women are better than men. That's not what is going on. And, and I some think, people see it as that. And some people totally see it as that. It's like uh, when you, back in the day, you say civil rights, people were like, oh, so now they're saying, you know. But what it, what, what it is, is that we're talking about gender equality. Right. True gender equality. That's the deal. And, but the problem is, is that men have always felt that they're more valuable. I, I right. have felt. You've been the guy. I have been that guy. Right. Well, I felt I was more valuable than my wife and kids. Now, for you, you grew up in Flint and in the 70s. So that's not, a, it's not an easy time to grow up in Flint, right? So it's, you came up from the hood. Uh, you came up from a very, you know, like you, you were the guy that punched people. Yeah. Um, and they punched you right back, right? Yeah. So, so you learned to define success through that, and now you've learned to redefine it. What has that been like for you, and how, how do you get other men to redefine that? Well, I, I've made the mistakes. I chased the wins. 
Right. And what happens is, now, see, you gotta understand, when you have that mindset, people know how to manipulate that. You are manipulated. I've been in auditions where, you know, they go, oh, excuse me, can you levitate? And you're like, no, I can't, you know, right. ah, and then you try. You right. can't actually sit there and try to levitate. <laughs> uh, you know what, and Brad Pitt levitated when he was here. Could you do that? And you're like, ah, and they go, oh, I'm sorry, no, 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 don't worry about it. Right. No, we thought you could levitate, I'm yeah. sorry. And you're like, oh, but I, I'll try, I can go home, can I come back, can I go in the hallway, and then I come back and, dude, right. you're chasing something you can never do. Yeah. But it's always the carrot, it's the, uh, and that's how people, men have been manipulated for years. Right. Chase your wins. Chase your wins. Keep them running. Keep them going. Keep them going. Keep them on. Because when you make it, you now I'll accept you. But you right. know what? They will never accept you. Right. You have to know who you are. You have to know that you're already valuable. And when you know that, you can say, no, I'm not doing that. Right. And no, and walk away and know. And then everybody respects that. Right. But what happens is if you don't know that, I didn't. You feel less than. And I'm chasing. I right. was running. Right. My whole time in the NFL. My whole time... Even as an artist, mm -hmm. I was trying to impress and, right. and, and really make up for who I was, make, make myself into somebody that someone cared about. Right. And I realized that just because I'm here, I'm okay. Now, you've heard, I'm sure you've heard from people that you were with in the NFL uh, or people that you grew up with about the conversations you're now trying to have. What has that response been like from them? You know, it's funny because I get a lot of guys that are like, oh, you know, that's good, man. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And I also get guys that are like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> right. What are you doing? What are you doing? Right, 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 right. <laughs> I get, no, no, literally, they'll grab me by the, by the meat of your arm and yeah. pull you over and go, sure. what, 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 like, why are you? What? And I was right. like, dude, could you unhand me, kind <laughs> sir? And it's like, what is the big deal? Right. But they're like, dude, you, you, you're telling. You're exposing. You're telling. Yeah. Why are you? It's man code, dude. Right. Man code. Come on. Respect respected. You know. Yeah. Yeah. See, man code. So how do you respond to that? Well, see, I'm just saying, man code. Does it work when your daughter gets raped? Hmm. Man code. Does that work when your mom gets abused? You understand what I'm saying? Of course. And it's a, come on, dude. Come on, I'm living in the real world. And you can drink the Kool-Aid all you want. Mm -hmm. A lot of guys love the Kool-Aid. Sports world is Kool-Aid world, full of, of Kool-Aid. Yeah. But they don't see anything. You can do anything just because you just win, baby. That's the logo. You actually get more money when you, you win. You know what right? I'm saying? You, get, oh, yeah. you become more it's of a rewarded. star when you do that. Yeah. And then what happens is they win and they go, you know that girl? She's my trophy. She, I deserve that girl. In fact, she don't even want to be with me, but I don't care. I'm going to take it. Right. What kind of mindset is that? Never, 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 never should that ever be accepted. That's mm -hmm. not a code. Mm -hmm. That's Taliban. Of course. That's ISIS. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? On the other side, people are being victimized and abused. It doesn't work. It, it never works, will not work. And unless men are willing to speak on it, because first of all, I kind of relate it to slavery or even civil rights. Let's sure. not even go back to slavery. Let's go to civil rights and let's say the people who were silent when there was the lunch counters, where it was black, the black lunch counter and the white one, where the schools were segregated and they had two books and the black school and the white school had everything and you were quiet, you were accepting it. Right. Same thing with men right now. If you don't say anything, you are, by your silence, it's acceptance. And I, I'm not going to be silent. I, I'm not going to be silent. But I know it, they, it, they need a man like me mm -hmm. to say something because then they go, okay, it's okay. Nobody, they, they didn't pelt him with rocks and garbage. Mm -hmm. You know, I might get pelted one day, and he's Terry Crews. but not now. You know, right. you know what I mean. But they, yeah. they said they didn't. Okay, he's all right. He's living. He's still doing his thing. I sure. guess it's okay. People are trying to see if it's it's okay to step outside. Uh, now, there's, we're having a lot of conversations here in Canada because of a high-profile case of sexual assault 
uh, or I guess allegations of sexual assault. The case that's going on is Gian Gomeshi, who is a radio host uh, in, the, in the States. You know, there's a Bill Cosby situation, which is still allegations, right? We don't know anything yet. There's all this conversation about consent, uh, about understanding um, when another human being is trying to connect with you and when they're saying no. Uh, and a lot of young men don't know how to have a conversation about consent. What would you, what would you say to them? Um, the big thing for me is just that when you see another person as your equal, there's things you, can't, you won't do. Right. You just won't do. Um, the problem is, is in how you see them versus you. You would only go ahead after someone says no if you feel you own them or if you feel you're above them. Yeah. You would only uh, rape someone if you felt that she was property. But such high profile cases, such high profile people, and we looked up to them. Those were our role models of masculinity or role models of just how to be. Um, so I don't know, how, how do you feel about that? You know, I think that you can go back to Bill Clinton you know, that's what was an abuse of authority. Mm -hmm. um, you can go back to several, just high pro. It's all high profile. Now, this is what I'm concerned about. Uh, everybody wants the high profile, but it's the it's the place where you, that lady, work, you know, some woman works, and her boss is coming at her every day. Mm -hmm. right. Hey, that's not high profile, right. but that's normal. Right, Happens it's, every it's day. so normal. It's got a name. And uh, and I have to say, regardless of the names, regardless of who is sure. getting mentioned, sure. you're not battling people. Right. We're battling mindsets. Right. We're battling a mindset. And what's happened is people have attacked people, and they go you 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 you, but they have. It's like you know what it's like. It's like cutting a tree down by the leaves, because it just grows back. Right. You know, we got rid of those leaves. Yeah. In fact, that bad branch is just... The whole thing's gone. That whole branch is... The tree's still there. The tree needs to come down. Right. And nobody's getting at the stump. And the stump is a mindset. Right. That people feel they're more valuable than each other, than another one. And, th and that's what I'm attacking. I don't even have to say a name. You don't have right. to deal with people. I know what the problem is right off. Right. You think you're better than everybody. Right. Because of this idea of manhood or masculinity or whatever. Exactly. Right. Now, you uh, have this great story where you went to see Iron Man with your son. Yeah. Uh, can you tell it? I love that story. Oh, man. I went to go see Iron Man 3. Yeah. Um, it was amazing. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but I couldn't watch the rest of it. Right. Because I was sitting there, and, you know, the trailers and the whole thing, and my son is shaking and, and moving, and we got our popcorn, and we got our candy, and we're just sitting there, and it's a good old summer movie, and it's going to be a great time, but the trailers were really, like, violent and, and loud. shaking and loud, and, yeah. you know, and he he was just like, whoa, whoa, you know, it, it was around six years old, and he just was like, I said, are you okay? He's like, oh, okay, 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 and then the movie started. And uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm like, this is awesome. And then, you know, it's more bombs. People die. He's like, ooh, ooh. And he's covering his face. Oh, man. One hand in his popcorn, one hand on his face. <laughs> right. And I'm like, are you okay? He's like, I'm okay. I'm okay. And he's gritting his teeth. I said, hold on. Okay, so we got a problem. Yeah. I pull him outside. We come outside. Um, the light is out there. It's a bright, sunny day. I'm like, quiet. Oh, quiet. He's, he's just looking down. And I said, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm okay. I said, are you, are you scared? Are you scared? I wanted to make sure I said that right. It was like, are you scared? You know, I went, yeah, I, of course. I was like, are you scared? He said, yeah. And he held his down, his head down, just put his head down like, I failed you. Right. He felt ashamed. I failed you. He yeah. felt shame. Yeah. Because he was scared. I said, no, 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 no. No. I said, brother, we, can, we don't have to see this movie. I said, you know what? In fact, let's go swimming. I said, you, I said, you're just not ready for this movie yet. Right. It's okay. One day you're going to look at it and it's just going to be just a movie. But it's okay, man. Right. It's okay to be scared. It's all right. Yeah. I said, you want to go swimming? You want to go? He's like, oh, yeah. Right. He just, let me tell you, he was like, woo. <laughs> 
He ran, we went, went home, with, he got in the pool, yeah. we had a blast. It was a wonderful day. Yeah. But it just reminded me that's every man on earth. Yeah. When you're scared, you won't say it. What did you learn about being a dad from that moment? Well, I learned just to listen, mm -hmm. but I also learned that's me. Right. He was still, he was suffering from the same thing I suffered from. Right. Where... I'm a man, and I gotta look like a man. Yeah. And I can't admit that I'm afraid. I can't say that I'm weak. I can't say that I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I can't, I'm not allowed to say I'm sleepy or I'm hurt sure. or I'm, uh, I can't handle this. That's what I learned. And I said, you know what, I gotta speak out. And he, when I cracked that egg for my son, he was free. Right. And I had to learn to keep cracking that egg for myself every time. You know what? Admit it. Mm -hmm. Admit you don't have it. I promised myself I would never say, I got this. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I will never say that. Because that's the moment you are ready to fall. Right. You always have to keep a moment where that pride is out of here. Now, you took a little bit of heat when you were on The View. And, and you talked about the importance of fatherhood. There are things that you need from your father. Mm -hmm. Your father starts out, he gives you your name. He wait, gives wait. you, listen. Like in, like in Lion King? Uh, like in Lion King, you ever Lion what King? What is it like, you know, talking about fatherhood and what was that moment like for you? Yeah, it was, it was wild, man. I did not expect that. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got a little, you. you got a um, hard but, response. But that's, that's the anger against men right now. Because men have not been doing, listen, I, I, People thought I was being hard on women. Right. I was calling men to come up and yeah. step up yeah. and say, dude, your kids need you. That's what I was saying. And I, another thing I was saying, and I always feel like if you, everyone, everyone is necessary. Everyone on earth is necessary. I had a couple people hit me up on Twitter saying men are unnecessary. Right. I don't need no man. But I'm like, I'm not saying we don't need moms. I'm not saying you don't need women. It's on not Earth. about that. It's not about that. Right? Why would it? Why did it turn to that? I was like, if you have to say that someone else is unnecessary to prove your point, I like, well, then what does this mean? I, I, what are you trying to say? And my thing was, I, I'm telling you that everyone is necessary. Everyone, you need people. You need them. And I'm like, why, why do you have to diss a dad in order to be a good mom? That, that doesn't, you can be a great mom and you can be a great dad. It's, it's, there's no either or. Right. And I'm just saying that you need men. I, I think you need men. Role if models. every man was gone off the face of the earth, we'd have a problem. Right. <laughs> okay, that's all I got to say. Right. But, but, but some people feel like you don't need a man at all. And I don't think men, you know, you, you, you need, it's so, so crazy where people are getting caught up in certain, you know, names and this and that and roles. I'm not talking about roles. I'm talking about purposes. Roles, people are scared of that because that means, you know, when they hear fatherhood, that means, oh, are you saying all women belong in the kitchen? No one is saying that. In fact, right. I'm in the kitchen. Right. When my wife is out working on her record, she flew to Nashville to do her thing. I'm in the kitchen right. with the kids, cooking, making grilled cheeses, and getting them ready for school and doing the whole thing. Gender purposes. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm here now. She's protected my kids. Right. Okay? She's the one, the strong one at home who's letting people know, get back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's okay. And when I get home, I'm that guy. Right. You see what I mean? Yeah, it's okay. Course. Sure. But it's the purposes, not roles, purposes, I and I'm good. If you had something to say to, you know, like there's a, a college kid right now who's listening to you, um, thinking about that's, you know, like I want to be the aggressive kind of uh, man who just gets women and uses them all the time, and you got a chance to look into that camera right there and, you know, and be like, hey, man, I got something to say to you. What would that be? Wow. To every young man out there who is looking to conquest women and in, in hopes that it'll make you a man. The issue is every man wants 
intimacy. Intimacy, all intimacy is, is you want to be known. You want to be known and loved. That's what you want. You don't want sex. Sex comes later. Problem is, people are chasing sex to chase intimacy, and you, you'll never find satisfaction in it. I can prove that. Okay, there, there, that is a bona fide fact that sex is not intimacy. Okay, and I'm just here to say when you find it, when you find intimacy, when you find someone who loves you for you, you will be satisfied. That's what it's all about. And, you know, I, I can tell you that many, many men growing up in the hood with pimp culture that feel that sex is the way to manhood simply because they, ha they, they literally have no fathers right. to teach them because right. they, they don't see a loving relationship. They don't see a man loves a woman and uh, the relationship that they have. They, le they learn that, hey, dad left and now I guess I, how do I be a man? I guess it's having much more sex. I do that, yeah. And it's really, really a cycle. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself the hard questions. Figure out what makes you tick. Um, and these are hard questions. Yeah. Thanks very much, man. Hey, Appreciate you it. You got it, my man. Thanks, you got man. it. You got it.